Hi all, welcome to the new video of problem solving using C. In this video, we are going to discuss library functions in C. Library functions are built-in functions that are grouped together and placed in a common location called library. Each function performs a specific operation. We can use these library functions to get the predefined output. And all C standard library functions are declared by using many header files. These library files uh, functions are created at the time of uh, designing the compilers. Now, we can include the header files uh, in your C program using this uh, for the following syntax: hash include followed by left shift then file name dot h then right shift. Whenever the program is run and executed. The related files or libraries are in the C program. Now, we are moving to uh, some important library functions in C. Some of the functions are first one, stdio.h. It is a standard input header file in which input output functions are declared. Scanf, printf, etc. are uh, described under stdio.h header file. Moving to next header file that is Conio.h. This is a console input output header file. We get ch, clr, scr. All uh, these uh, uh, functions are under Conio.h header file. Now moving to string.h. All string related functions are in this header file. Means str, len, str, cmp, uh, like that. All these uh, string comparison, all these functions are under string.h libraries. We will discuss this in later. Now moving to stdlib.h. This file contains common functions uh, which are used in C programs. And uh, math.h. This is one of the important header file in C. All functions related to mathematics are this on this header file. Uh, I will explain after the uh, after giving you uh, uh, library function uh, list. Then now time.h. This file contains time and clock related functions. All time related functions are described under time.h. Now moving to uh, important mathematical functions in C language. First one we are going to discuss seal. Seal rounds up the given number. It returns the integer value which is greater than or equal to given number. Syntax seal within bracket you give the number. Now floor of number rounds down the given number it returns the integer value which is less than or equal to given number this is just opposite of seal seal rounds up the given number and returns the value which is greater than or equal to the given number then in the case of floor it returns the integer value which is less than or equal to given number now sqrt of number this function returns the square root of the given number and uh, fourth mathematical function that is power base exponent that is power function returns the power of a given number we need to give the base and exponent for example 2 comma 3 means 2 cube that is the uh, value is 8 then abs absolute value of a given number can be returned by using the function abs so these are the mathematical functions seal floor sqrt power exponent and abs absolute value now uh, moving to data input output functions in c language when we say input, uh, it means to feed some data into a program and when we say output, it means to display some data onto the uh, screen or printer or any other uh, output format. Now, uh, C programming provides a set of built-in functions to read and uh, write data uh, into uh, according to your requirement. Uh, these, uh, these are the data input functions in C language. C lang in C language, Data input functions can be categorized into formatted input functions and unformatted input, input functions. <coughs> Sorry. Now moving to formatted input functions. In formatted input functions, we have basic uh, input functions uh, scanf and output function printf. Uh, I will explain this after uh, explaining this figure. Uh, that means diagram. Now, Unformatted input output functions we have input functions such as get char, get us, get ch, 
and output function put care puts these are the data input output functions input functions can be categorized into two formatted and unformatted in an in format in formatted language uh, functions that it means we have uh, input scan of function and output print of and unformatted language we have input functions get care get us get ch and output functions put now we are going to discuss formatted functions c programming treats all the devices as files some important formatted functions are first one uh, scan of it is used for uh, inputting values then print of for outputting values uh, print of and scan of functions are in uh, inbuilt library functions in c programming language which are available in c library by default these functions are declared and related macros and defined in header file stdio.h we have to include stdio.h to make use of the print of and scan of library functions in c language uh, here is an example for print of function the syntax for print of function is print of uh, followed by uh, the bracket then uh, in within double quotes you need to uh, write the contents to display within a uh, string uh, that means double quotes and uh, uh, you can uh, display characters string or floating any kind of data types in uh, your uh, printing statements uh, for printing character you can use percent c for printing string you can use the percent s for printing floating point number percent f and for, for printing decimal number of percent f like that you can specify your uh, uh, data type then uh, uh, here is an example for uh, print of function you you can run this using online uh, compiler or your compiler this is the example for print of function now moving to uh, scan of function uh, it is the function used to input values uh, syntax scan of followed by bracket then uh, with the double quotes you need to specify the character that means the data type then comma followed by the name of the character here we have uh, declared two characters ch and str ch of character type str of string type then uh, for a character you can use percent c for uh, uh, string you can use percentage in your scan of statement so here is the result of this function enter any character yes entered character is yes then one more enter a string crs entered single string this is simple example for scan of function c programming treats all the devices as files so devices such as the display are addressed in the same way as files some important form format functions are uh, get care get us get ch uh, for input function then uh, put care put us for output function then uh, we are going to display get care and put care functions uh, get, get, get care function reads the next available character and put care function puts the that means writes the password character onto the screen difference between get care and put care the get care function reads the next available character from the screen and return it as an integer then in the case of put care this function puts the address, uh, the uh, puts the passed character on the screen and returns the same character. This is the difference between get care and put care. Uh, here is an example for uh, get care and put care functions. Uh, here, uh, here in the C, is, uh, character value C is uh, sorry integer value is declared here. Print of enter a value C, get care. Print of you entered put care. Get care for inputting, put care for outputting. Here is the result. Enter a value. C get care you give. This is a test. This is test. Then uh, a print you entered, then put care of C. That means the first character can be printed. The available character. So this is the uh, explanation for get care and put care function. Uh, now moving to getters and putters function. Get function getters function reads a line from stdin into the buffer pointed to uh, by s yes until either it terminate in new line or end of file. Or in the case of uh, puts function, just uh, opposite of gets function, it writes the string s yes and a trailing new line to standard out. A small difference between uh, get care and put care uh, with getters and putters in get care and put care you can print the first available character in the case of getters and putters you can uh, display the uh, or read or uh, write a line from stdin into the buffer now this is the example for getters and putters function care of here a string is the 
then get a string put a string enter a value this is a test the entire line is displayed here in the output this is the difference between uh, get us and put us function in the get us and put us function uh, reads a line from stdin to the buffer and writes uh, the string s and a trailing new line to std out standard out now one more function is the get ch function we use get ch function in a c program to hold the output screen from some time until the user passes a key from the keyboard here is the syntax in get ch of void or get ch of void now moving to the example hash include str dot h hash include conia dot h in main to work this uh, function get ch you need to specify conia dot h header file then uh, after when you run the whenever you run the program when you press a key it returns to the program this is the importance of uh, get ch function in the next class i will come with flow control statements in c i hope you understand thank